your slick blow. It's driving me out of my mind. That's why it's hard for me to find. Can't get it out of my head. Miss her, kiss her, love her. Fat girl is. Man, it is still pouring out there. Holy shit. Yo, welcome to Florida. Yo, welcome back to the Schmodown Run Back with Sober Ryu. That's right, your boy. We're back with some more movie trivia Schmodown, man. You can find that at youtube.com slash collider videos. Colliders. Uh, as I always say, Collider Videos. If you've never been there before, go there. Check out all the content, man. They got a lot of great stuff there, man. They got movie talk. We're just going through some pretty crazy changes lately, man. I wonder what the story is. I I, uh, I, I won't pry. I won't pry. I I will say, uh, I um, shout outs to John Campia, who recently uh, re uh, resigned from Collider. So um, he's doing his own thing on his own channel. Uh, definitely check him out at uh, uh, just look up John Campia on YouTube. Uh, he's doing a lot of great things. That's uh, C A M P E A. I always enjoyed his uh, his take on things, and uh, I'm still going to support uh, Movie Talk. I enjoy the fuck out of that show. I love the fact that they have rotating people on that show, even when Campia was there. So, and uh, they're even set to become even more uh, rotating more people. Man, they surprise me all the time with the people that show up. So uh, that's really cool. Um, but at the same time, it's sad because uh, I miss John being there, and maybe. Every once in a while, John can drop back in, hopefully. Anyway, I'm not sure what the situation is with that, but uh, I'll leave well enough alone. In the meantime, though, this episode of The Schmodown, we're going to be diving into another singles match, which popped off yesterday. I'm actually uh, back into the habit of doing it a day after they, uh, they actually aired, at least with this one anyway. Um, it is Mark Ellis versus Clark Wolf. Clark Wolf, one of my favorite players, man. It's so cool that... um. She's uh, been reinvigorated with uh, wanting to play the game. I know she sometimes doubts herself that she doesn't feel like she's a strong enough player or when she's up against uh, some strong players like Ellis and um, and Roken and, um, and, you know, the people who are, who are strong players in the league. She feels like she doesn't have a shot, but a lot of times she does impress. And I'm excited to see if she's going to be able to beat Ellis, but Ellis is definitely a strong player, one of the strongest in the league. Um, and... Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out, man. I, really, it all depends on what category the wheel lands on and uh, what questions catch him off guard, which I guess could be said for any match. Um, I would say out of the two, I think Ellis may have a slight advantage, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say that because of the the random variables, I'd say it's a 5-5 matchup for me. I honestly don't know who the toss-up, uh, I don't know who it is, but I am rooting for Clark Wolf. I am. Uh, I love Ellis, and he fucking makes me laugh. But um, at the end of the day, I, I want Clark to get this because I want her to stay in the league. Uh, I don't want her to feel like she's just uh, not as strong as the other players and lose lose any kind of encouragement. And with other female players like Perry, like um, Brienne, like all the uh, you know uh, so many of them that have come into the league since uh, since since it started, uh, Clark was definitely one of the first. And it's important that she stays around the plays. And I don't you know, expect to be in every episode, but um, it's cool when she is. So um, that's what's up. And uh, I'm excited to see this, guys. But uh, before we get started, I'm trying to think if there's anything. Oh, Collider Collision. I had mentioned in the previous video I'm going to be sitting down with the cats from uh, Take 3 Productions and uh, other uh, uh, YouTubers that uh, also do commentary in the Schmodown. But uh, some of you guys may want to know what the matches are for Collider Collision. I do know that right there, as you can see, Rotten Tomatoes uh, versus the Nerd wa Nerds Watch. That's going to be the team league battle. That's going to be going on during that. Um, you also have the three-way championship battle between uh, Mark, uh, Mark, uh, Mark Riley, uh, Roka, and Dan Merle. That's what's going on. I think that's, the, uh, of course, the, uh, the main event. And then you have uh, the Inner Geekdom throwdown between uh, Jeffrey. Uh, Jeffrey, oh my god. <laughs> Let me fix my face. I was about to say Jeffrey Slider. Uh, sorry, Jeremy Johns. See, another J. A literal J name at that. Jeremy Johns versus Hector Navarro. Um, I've been waiting for that fucking match. Out of the three. I'm actually pretty much excited for all of them, but I, I really want to see Jeremy whoop that ass. That's what I want. But I think Hector's going to come come with it, man. Uh, apparently, he's uh, been boasting and saying some things, man. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm fucking up my camera. The camera, please be calm. 
<laughs> but anyway, we're about to get into this. Um, Collider Collision is... Uh, I, is there's any other matches for Collider Collision? I don't know about them quite yet, but those are the big ones that I do know about. So I'll, I'll do a little um, research before I get on that show and see if there's any other ones. But before that, on the 4th, uh, next week actually, it's going to be the... Uh, the, the team uh, championship match between the Patriots and Top 10. So thank God, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for Roca and Nost to beat that ass. Please, please, fellas, please. I'm begging you. Please leave no stone unturned. Watch every movie you possibly fucking can. Please. Whip those dudes' asses. The whole world is waiting for you, all right? The whole world is waiting for that ass whipping. I can't. I can't, I can't express it enough, John. I can't express it enough, Matt. I, I love you guys. And it would break my heart to see y'all lose that. Against those two? Please. Please. Please, there's no way. There's no way, fellas. You, you're on a roll. Top 10 is coming back. I need you to just... Please. Please. I'm begging, fellas. begging you, fellas. I'm doing it. I'm begging. I can't wait. 4th of July, it's going to be a pop-off, man. It's going to be blown up, blown up. Look at, look at Tay. That's what he's going to look like during the match when he gets blown the fuck up. <laughs> it's going to make a great thumbnail. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to that. The main event for today, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I fucked up. I should have loaded the previous loadout. Let me do that now. My bad, my bad. I... I'm not on my game. Let's see here. Oh, 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 wrong one. There we go. All right, cool. God, I caught. I got caught with my pants down. That sucks. <laughs> All right, let's do this. As always, if you're gonna watch this in tandem with the original video, make sure you go to the video afterwards and uh, comment and uh, leave a thumbs up. And uh, if you wanna praise this episode, you can. If you wanna leave some constructive criticism, please do. Uh, as long as it's constructive, not don't be a dick about it. Um, anyway. Uh, the link is down below for the original video. It says watch this video first. You can click on that. If you want to watch it in tandem with this one, I'm going to count down to one from three. And you can unpause it on one. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Yo, we got packages. A championship match Could I deal with collision? I'm yes. Going to take on the winner. There's still a path to victory. We are here to erase Hell yes. And bring the back nerds watch. Winners. You can throw anybody you want at me. I'm going to hold on to this thing for years until finally somebody has uh -oh. to forcibly retire me to be like, okay, Hector. Yo, we, we got, we got all the rundown of the message. Let's go, here. Jeremy. Stop. I got to go for Hector. So Hector, it's you and me, man. Rock your shit. Ah, yo, Snyder. I get text from you all the time. Oh, it's Harlow versus Snyder. Bad. Yes. That's right. You have to beat me in order to get one. I've been shot twice already. I'm shocked. And I think oh, I'm shot. Yo, get him. Yo, the triple threat match. But I'm happy to take you and Harlow on. Yeah. That's Riley's best fucking moment right there. Shot at that belt at Collider Collision. We're going to make this a triple threat. Oh, shit. Yo, that's the, I'm missing some of these posters. I need to find them other two, man. Snyder versus Harlow. Snyder versus Harlow. I guess that's for a shot at the title belt, right? Oh my god. I know that he has, I'll let him speak on this, but I know he's got reservations about competing in singles. Well, yeah, I don't have any reservations about playing. It's, I'm not ducking anybody. I just, right. You ducking? I let other people get a shot. Well, I'm on a duck hunt, glory. Ellis. It's all the gore that baby carrots has. Other a duck hunt for baby carrots. Them, so I might pop in here or there occasionally down the road. Kind of like Eddie Murphy. That poster that Brian Ward made for him for this, the baby carrots one, so cool based on Baby Driver. Him. Shit is great. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, Santa is back. Yo, they put fucking that in that picture. They put uh him in this land speeder with uh Tom Cop, John Claude Van Damme. <laughs> him dressed as a carrot. Yo, Brian Ward, man, he's to be he he kills it every time. The guy's the best. Yo, let's go, Clark. And Clark has some great entrances too. Both of them do. Let's see who has the strongest of the two. Let's find out. Oh yeah, bursting on the scene. Planets exploding. Titles just bursting into your living room. Oh shit, yo look at Clark. He's trying not to laugh. <laughs> yo Ellis. Oh here we go, yo Makuba on the mic. All right. It's good to see him. He's doing double duty. 
Yeah, it was a Snapsock. Yeah, Snapsock in the Redwoods? He's fighting off Ewoks? Because he's with the Empire, you know. Public Enemy in number one, man, the Ewoks. Competition and singles competition. She was the rookie of the Clark, year last year, see your entrance. and she's oh. going up against my partner in crime. Guy who helped me start build this league, Mark Baby Carrots Ellis. That's right, who has one of the founders seen in singles competition since his loss to Dan Merle in Woo. December of last year. That was and a good match, man. Yeah. I mean, he put up a man good if you guys ever run back some of the, the classic, I wouldn't say classic, uh, but last I mean, season's showdowns, you should. Both a lot of great episodes in the last year. Two great fights. The first time I fought Clark Wolf, she mowed me down like a lawnmower in the happening. And, uh, <laughs> and, and Mark Indeed. Ellis uh, always shows up. Ooh. And, uh, you know, he got Junior as his last question. Right. Didn't see it coming. I thought I would put up a better no, fight junior. against Mark Ellis. Uh, my second fight against Clark Wolf, li listen, they're both amazing competitors. They yeah. know their stuff. Uh, they come in here guns blazing. They are tops in this league. They are tops in this league. thunder and lightning that's going on outside. Hope my power doesn't go out. That would suck. Wolf, who is the number four ranked competitor, and Mark Ellis, who is the number five ranked competitor. So you've got the two of them right now as they are going head to head, and it means a lot because it does. It, it, the question is, where do they both go? It, Mark Ellis, if he, what, he could have oh, some damn. ring rust, we yep. don't know. He's won the Ultimate Showdown two years in a row, yep. teams in 2015, then last year, 2016. Right Mark on. Wolf, what is she going to do next? Is she going to is she going to continue and go for that run again as for a singles championship? Is she? Uh, we have this so many questions to be asked. And the last today. time we saw Wolf, she was fighting her team partner Mark Riley. Oh for yeah. Sure. The belt, and Correct. he went on to win the belt, and that was a very close match. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Clark Wolf has just been. She I is she lost to the person who became a champion and her team so partner. Many things. I mean, you look at like a competitor like Rachel Cushing, yeah. who has just been a, a potential rookie there this year, has has given credit to what Clark Wolf has accomplished. Absolutely. Really enough, she wrote the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> she, she, she absolutely did. But we have two competitors here that are, are legends and are already in the uh, the Schmodown. And she knows so much about it, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> and they said as much. Here you go. Oh, here so we go. So anyway, it looked like a can of shaving cream. Turns out it was. Dinosaur embryos. Oh hi, I'm. Mark I fucking love when he does this shit. Recent victory in the movie trivia showdown. So this is my first was singles it? match back since was I Newman played there? my partner Mark Riley for a title shot, and uh, he won, and it was a close match. And if there's anyone I was going to lose to, I'm glad that it was him. I have children this shit, this who adore me, stop me daily, and say, "Hey, Mark." I would love to see you win that, though. But you haven't competed in singles. It's in all so right. That long. wasn't that Wait, wasn't a salty you outcome. You know where I haven't been in six months? McDonald's. Did I forget? How to order a quarter pounder? Hell no. Uh, you Today, never forget I'm your first love. I'm Clark Wolf on the menu. <laughs> She's Hamburglar, and I'm Mayor McCheese. No one's After Grimace? Of the I year guess I'll be Grimace. Year, Fuck it. Uh, you know, I think there was a lot of uh, <laughs> expectations put on my shoulders, which is fine. I think I can, I can handle it. But now playing Ellis, you know, I think, I think this will be a good competitive, hopefully close match. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I go into the singles always hoping that that it's going to be close, if nothing else. And that's, a, and that's, that's the best case scenario. It's going to be a tough one to beat. Clark Wolf has been Some of those are the most heartbreaking matches, though. Has but it's better than getting mowed I'm down, I'll tell you. Compete against her today. The dogs are buddies. I'm friends with her, and I'm Dog. sure we're going to patch things up after the mauling that's about to take place The dogs place are today. buddies? It's, not well, it's time fault. for a divorce. It's just that I'm baby carrots, and I don't lose these kind of things. <laughs> Mark Ellis, I've known you the longest Come on, just this Magnum P.I., all right? I love you. You are an incredible competitor. Oh, and, look, uh, all this respect. You know, I'll be lucky. Don't respect them too much. So, good luck. With, with respect Wolf, comes you intimidation. Are an legend, you're a Hall of Famer in the movie trivia showdown. Problem is, I built the Hall of Fame. Oh damn! Yo, he's the foreman. I see. You oh, sucker, sucker. yo, it's Buck. Oh shit! He's gonna say it. He's, Ellis is gonna take it, right? I'm, I'm going. I'm rooting for Clark. So we'll see what happens. What's up, guys? Yo, Booker come on, fresh from the golf course. I see. Come and straight from the links. On the down. And this he said, fuck the Masters, I'm taking over. Two <laughs> for ya. Let's go. Baby carrots. Now, can you dig that? Hey, guys, yeah, I, I knew it. I fucking knew it. This week, but hey, Yo, let's go, Clark! Wrestling every Sunday Your book, why are we always up on opposite sides, book? Get some, some, I love you, sir, but I know no. You can dig that, sucker. I can't dig your pit, man. I can't do it.
can't do it. We're not allowed. It. You weren't expecting a lot of smack no. talk there, obviously. Straight from the Clark legs, man. A lot of credit to Mark Ellis. Holes Mark Ellis in one. A lot of credit and cracking some jokes as we know he would. She's classy. No She's birdies classy. for you today. Though. He is the carrot man, and we are ready this. to get this thing going. Let's do it. All right. Well, so I got this. I mean, Clark's got this. Mark's Let's go. Baby carrots, Ellis. If Star Wars is on there, he's nothing but class. Good at that. If '80s movies or horror are on there, look out. Yo, fool and Chester. Oh shit. He's trying to be Thomas Magnum so hard. Also, he hates sleeves on his shirts. That's very true. I'm a big fan. Loves cargo shorts. He should wear some freaking wife beaters. And exposed chest hair. And then we have classic Clark. Showing it off. Strengths are obviously horror. I'll keep my button up. No one needs to see that. That's right. Dramas. No one needs to see my naps. Really good at there too. And just being. So she's number four. He's number five. All strengths, right there. All class. All class. All right. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. I'm ready too. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia. Let's do it! Introducing first. Representing. It's Ellis, huh? <laughs> What's the song? With a record of five wins, two defeats. He is the Baby Carrots has his own thing? Who made this? And the former movie trivia showdown team champion. The number I see you. I like this. Mark, baby Carrots! Oh shit, yo, Mr. Orange. Look at that suit. Look at him go. He's such a bull. I love this guy. Yo, <laughs> yo, sleeveless. He said, "Fuck them sleeves, I'm out." Let the gun shine. Welcome to the gun show. I just saw him screaming. Was on Jane Fonda's working out. Looks pretty good. Yo, who was that screaming? Was that? Who knew that that? Was that Cody? In the bright orange and well, it does work. It really does. I feel like Dan Marino, 1984, Josh. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. He's perfect. He came out as hailing as he could. But he looks like he's straight out of men from work, man. Men at work. Let me fix my face. Oh, oh, oh. We're with in London. Ellis, I would give you a four. I'll give you a four for that. That's good shit. Came out strong, baby. You came out strong. Oh, 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 what? You got surprises? No surprises? Not nothing. Oh, Clark, come on. Oh, when you with Mark, you come up with all sorts of pomp and circumstance. No! Oh, I was straight down the middle, man. I'll, gi I'll give it a 2.5. 2.5. So here You know, she came out to play, though, all right? She got no time for fucking entrances. She got to put all that brain power to work for whipping Ellis's ass. Let's go. Let's go. Let me see. Answer with one point apiece, 15 seconds to answer. The JT. The performance will speak for itself. Meaning you have three times during the entire match that you can ask to repeat the question. Also, remember the challenge rule. Don't remember. forget the challenge rule. If there's something that you don't we'll agree call it the with, you rule think now. that there is something that the judges are missing, you the can challenge. If it's overturned, then you will not lose your challenge. The other Makuga rule. Let's fix, let me fix my face. The There's right. so many. Don't forget if they get all <laughs> correct, all every single question correct, they get a bonus question. That is wow. absolutely right. Well. All right, and Who will also get remember that? this, guys. Will too, get that, this that I, for people who are wondering, I'm spoiled because I, I saw no two. Access to the documents in one round after number the two next. and three. That'll be all Josh Makuga. Okay, round number one, however, I will be administering the questions to both of the competitors. Oh, all right, right. administering. I believe it's administering. What I say. Don't worry about it. Administering. Call me JTE, and I have my own rule today, and that's try to get through this alive. There All right, you go. here we go. Clark Wolf, in are one you base. Ready? Yes, sir. Mark Ellis, are you ready? Shock full of beta carotene. What is it, a bank in here? Let's make some noise. There, there you go. Ready. Throw it up. That's right. Let's get ready. Right. Are you ready? In the category go. of action adventure. Oh, I'm not good at this. Who directed <laughs> the 2014 liar. Scarlett Johansson starring action flick Lucy? Luke no, Besson. Good Luke Besson. Lucy. Big, you know, Luke, kind of juicy Lucy. Yeah. You ever had one of those? Best song, the director of Valeria, really which is actually one. getting yeah. a pretty nice. good impression so online. Stop talking, it's really ruining yeah. my concentration. Interesting, interesting. Four, three. You're only you being on the side of it, huh? Three, you, you, you may. Two. <laughs> Yo, touche. One. Pens down, please. Wait, you kind of need to hide your answers. That's correct. Yes, good shit, good shit. Luke Besson. Which I could clearly see he wrote down because he had his. the French accent, Mark. Here we go. Luca Besson. He had it completely laid flat. Oscar your second category here. What 2002 movie garnered Oscar nominations for writer Charlie Kaufman and his fictional brother Donald? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, adaptation. I never had a brother named Donald here. I don't adaptation. know if that's true. Yeah. Adaption? No, it was adaptation. Up, that's what it is. You have somebody you know. You've been to a wedding with somebody named Donald. Yeah. Five. Buddy from home. Four. 
Three, two, one. Pens down. Mark Ellis. Uh, American Splendor. That's nope. Correct. Clark. Don't forget that voiceover narration is cheating. It's adaptation. That's yes. Right. Oh, I like it. God, good oh, shit. Good shit. Well, Clark takes right, the lead. Yeah. 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 Keep question that shit up. Three. Question number three here in the category of fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. Who played the mild-mannered, bumbling bureaucrat Wickes oh, Van Demure oh, fuck, 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 in fuck, fuck, fuck. District 9? Oh, no, 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 no. His name. District 9. His name. Ooh. Oh, no. I did. Big fan. I did. It was in the 18. I, 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 I was a big fan of the prawns. Oh, no, yeah. The, the prawns. Uh, uh, District 9. Copley. Five. Shorto Copley. <laughs> the prawns. Shorto Three. Copley. That would have taken me. I would. I would have written that in time. Charlotte Copley. That's Thank correct. you so much. Good shit. Charlotte Copley. Oh, right. he was just wow. a free fire. Here we go. Three, two. Three, two. I, I interviewed him one time. All right, here we go. Next two question. My brain doesn't work so well. Fighters fighting <laughs> out. Uh, next category: new releases. <laughs> Name one of the three veteran actors that starred in the Zach Braff directed heist movie Going in Style. Oh wow. Well, Dear one of us was Morgan Freeman. Another really, one was really uh, like Alan Arkin. Subscribing Patreon. And another in one was uh, Michael. Michael Caine. Yeah, Michael so. Caine. Three. My bad on that one. Two. One. I'm pretty sure Michael Caine and Mark um, Ellis. I'm yeah. writing smaller than Morgan I want. Michael Caine. That's yes. correct. Wow. Clark Wolf. That Kevin Klein. No. That's incorrect. That's another movie that You're was thinking, close yeah. to it. But that's, uh, it was either Michael Caine, Morgan Freeman, or Alan Arkin. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. All right. So it is a tie game now after that. This came out uh, next a few year. But late, either early what this year or late Darryl last year. Hannah's character wooed by a big nosed fire chief. Oh shit! Roxanne. Almost had a fire chef. Look at that. It's Roxanne. It's based on Sergio de Bergerac. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm not going to make funny here, but uh, chef and chief are two very different words. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so is that monastery. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Marcus Ellis. <clears throat> Roxanne! That's, That's what I was going to do! <laughs> you don't have to put on the red light. This is the worst song in the Sorry. history. Song. Man, fuck uh, you, it's not. Horrific. That you song is amazing, dude. Clark, Clark, had it also, had it yeah. Fuck okay, that song up during uh, karaoke, right. though, <laughs> and, and rock band. Four, sir. Tom four, you don't have to put four, on the red four, light. Four, 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 All right, next question. Put on the red films. light. What lead actor made his feature film debut as oh, Stanley wow. in the film Holes? That'd be Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Holes. Yeah, sounds like some people out there put some holes in their pants. Yeah. Five. Four. Yo, Shia LaBeef! Two, one, Do it! Shia LaBeouf? That's correct. Do Mark it. Ellis. We miss in Transformers, kid. Shia LaBeouf. No, we don't. Hey, the LaBeouf, sir. Said, no, said we no. don't. Said, right, yeah, exactly, thank you. The next category. <laughs> category of rom-com. My favorite. Who plays Lars, who falls in love with the doll he oh. online in Lars and the Real Girl? Ryan Gosling plays Lars. The story of Ken Knapsack. Yeah, that's true. If I recall correctly, Ken is not Ryan here to Gosling. defend himself, sir. Yeah, I, I, Ken is not here, but I will second what Mark just said. <laughs> and I will third it, but he's still not here. Three, two, one, Marcus Ellis. Mr. Cutie Pants himself, Ryan. Bye. Oh, Yo, someone's got a crush? Uh, yes. Go. Yo, it's a tie game, baby. Yes. Not perfect, but yeah, tie. Down. That's all yeah, I could ask for. Last question. Last one here in the category of horror thriller. I bet he horror smells good. Oh, thriller. shit. Here we go. Yo, Clark, Liam Neeson yours. plays a Dr. David Marrow who intends to study the psychological response to fear in what 90s supernatural horror film? Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. Clark is a big fan Can you fan repeat of... the question? Whoa. Uh, that's number one. I'm um, using it. Liam Neeson plays Dr. David oh, Marrow fuck. who intends... Uh, to study the psychological it's a it's the sam theory. raimi movie what um supernatural horror film he plays uh dark man all of that i believe it's dark man it was if it's not dark man uh, it's big, something else but it's that the that only movie five. i can think of i think it's dark Four, man three please tell me it's dark man two, one clark wolf i don't think this is right i said dark man that's oh. incorrect mark Fuck. give me my elephant the haunting that's wow. oh are you serious oh that and hot all right, so now we're going to hit round number two, and it's going to work like this. The competitors will speak. Yeah, all I could think of was Dark Man, dude. I forgot like he was in that. Again, unless of course it lands on opponent's oh, choice. Oh, what the but fuck? But they can spin one more time. They have to. They have right, to anyway. land on the second time. There will be. She's she's only one point away from Ellis, so that's that's very that's a very strong it, performance. You go to multiple choice. God damn. One point. You can and they got the majority of the questions too, which is great. Answer the question. It's a Mark nice Ellis, round. you have a one point lead here. Would you like to go first or second? Uh, I think I'm going to be classy and defer. I will kick wow. off. Oh. Man, Ellis, oh. Ellis, you oh. always be doing oh. this. Have the first spin. Wow. You never give Mark, first. Clark, well, Clark, please give it a good spin. Don't ever listen to me, man. Fuck. That and give that wheel a spin. <laughs> and there it is. Right, yo, anyway, anyway, I'm happy for Clark. Uh, Definitely gave her advantage. 
is a Bobby great Cox golfer. Would be proud. Really nice. Oh, mixed no. bag. No. Mixed, mixed bag. bag. No. I'll tell you what, Christian. Everyone says, don't do it. Don't do it. No, you know, I'm not a, so, not a so I think, I think, I think, I think I'm going to spin again. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Good call. It's Even hard on the board. Even if on it's opponents. Wait. It's, it's just, please got to lend an opponent's go. choice. Nice spin. The lady yeah. from Atlanta, oh, Georgia. Yep. She the round. Do not okay, stop, 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 stop. Whoa, good Action shit, good shit. I'm sure adventure. she'll know this. This is also is not good. All right. Oh, wow. Like really? Whoa. All right, here we go. Round number two. I mean, you see, I'm sure you've seen a lot of popcorn Clark movies, Clark. right? All right, here we go. What is the name of Gal Gadot's character in the Fast and the Furious franchise? Multiple chores. Multiple chores. A, is it Elena? B. Riley. I want to say it's Giselle. C, Giselle. I want to say C. D. Neela. I think it's C. Giselle. Correct for one, one point. point. All right. Well Whew. done. Well done. One is better than none. I'll tell you that. Your second question in action adventure, Clark Wolf, the classy one. Who co-starred opposite Gina Davis in 1995's Cutthroat Island? Matthew Modine. Okay, so it was her husband, but oh f. Uh, multiple choice. Multiple choice. Yeah, multiple Matthew choice Modine, I think. A, Michael Douglas. B, Matthew Modine. Is B. C, Clinton Spillsbury. Or D, Jeff Bridges. And I knew it was Matthew Modine, and it's still Matthew Modine. <laughs> sure. That's all right. Singapore One is better than none. Who the hell is Clinton Spillsbury? <laughs> uh, Joe Bush. Pillsbury? I think that's Gina Davis's current husband. <laughs> <laughs> no, Brittany Harlan. Spillsbury. He's a hell of a guy. It's like her husband Spotify. who directed that yeah. terrible yeah. movie. Next two, the local here. senator in Atlanta, Georgia. Question three for Michael. <laughs> what is the first name? Of computer expert and oh, best come on, friend names? Benjamin Gates in National Treasure. Multiple choice. Yeah, man. Now, fuck. We're go with a Mark, B Ken, C Cody, D Riley. Riley, it's D. It's D. It's D. It's Riley. That's yeah, fucked yeah, up yeah, though. That's go. so I'm, fucked. That's I'm awesome. Gonna go. D. It's uh, D. I'll go. D. I'll go Riley. Thank you. <laughs> oh, good shit. Good shit. <laughs> An instinct. I see you. Last question in action adventure. Sorry, well, Clark. Even if he gets two point questions, you, you still can catch up. the release of *Romancing the Stone*. What is the name, name of, of the sequel. sequel to *Romancing the Stone*? Oh shit! So I think I know it, but uh, multiple, multiple choice. choice. Yeah, I is need it to A. Know multiple Thief choice. of Baghdad. Uh, Jewel of the Nile. Pearl C. of Death. C. Jewel of the Nile. D. Dark. Crystal. It was Jewel of the Nine. <laughs> Yo, the Dark Crystal. <laughs> Yo, we got Muppets confirmed? I see you. Let's go. Four for four. She gets four Michael Douglas is a Muppets? Let's go. All of the twos, but we're going to see what Man. you know who is great in Jewel of the Nile? Clinton Spillsberry. <laughs> 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 All right, so now, Yo, Clinton. Is up. now <laughs> hold on, you spin, Mark. Uh, I don't know. We can go for the audience here with your sleeveless shirt that adds a lot to the spin. So be careful how hard you spin it because you are unencumbered by sleeves. <laughs> I will make sure I'm aware of that. And the pants Come I'm on, opponent's choice. Are a little tight in the crotch here. Yes. Come on, opponent's choice. <laughs> Come on, opponent's Yikes. choice. Come on. That was a burn Come against on. the size of my manhood. And, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. 90s. 90s. Keep it oh, in. You're gonna, so you I'm so terrified of a number of these other categories that I think I'll uh, take what I have. And I will, uh, <laughs> wow, it's a fair it category. Stays with 90. I think it's I'll fair. With 90s. It's really fair. If it can't be Adam Sandler Netflix movies, let's do 90s. Oh, right. my God. Mark Ellis in Gross. the category of 90s movies. You couldn't pay me to watch this. In the shit. 1993 movie Gettysburg. Who portrayed General Robert E. Lee? Robert Duvall? I don't fucking know. Multiple choice for me. I don't, I don't know. I've never seen it. If I did, it was probably in high school. Four, three, multiple choice. Ooh, yeah. multiple choice. Is it A, Tom Barron? B, Gene Hackman? C, Martin Sheen? D, Sam Elliott? I'll go with D. Five. Wow. It's either D or B, but I'd probably be D. Three. Uh, oh, fuck. Sam That's Elliott. That is incorrect. Oh, Clark, wow. would you like to steal? Uh, may I hear the answers again? Sure. Is Still it A, Tom D. Berenger, B, Gene Hackman, C, Martin Sheen, D, Sam Elliott? Oh, wow. Uh, watch it be Tom Berenger. Martin Sheen. That's correct. Wow. Oh, oh, oh wow. she needed that so bad. Nice deal. That's big. Yeah. That actually may make that all the big. difference in the okay. world. Spillsbury, but <laughs> not in it. No Clinton. Not in I'm it. sorry. The he second, passed. The second <laughs> question with the K. here for Mark Baby Carrots Ellis. Who played Billy Crystal's son in City Slickers? Oh, oh shit. Uh, Toby. No, 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 no. Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal. 
Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal played him. Clark Wolf knows the. You're gonna know it as soon as you see the multiple, multiple choice. choice. You're gonna know it as soon as you see that. Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. B. Ryan Gosling. C. Jason Joseph Gordon Levitt. D. Macaulay Culkin. It's A. I think <laughs> he didn't leave him at home. I think it's uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. It yeah. is. It is correct. Right. Right. You would be correct. Right. 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 Good one. Right. Yo, this, this question is, is tough as fuck. Yep. Yeah, no doubt, dude. They're Your kind of going to go multiple choice for every one of them. In the Rocketeer, what does Cliff disguise himself as at the South Seas a waiter. Club in order to get a to waiter. Jenny? A waiter. Oh, you don't yeah, remember? He was wearing a white tux. He, he was a waiter. Um, he knocks a guy out and takes five. his fucking costume. I Four. barely remember right, that. You gotta go multiple choice. He goes multiple choice again. Heavyweight battle here. In, in the Rocketeer, your choices are A, a chef. B, a cop. C, a valet. D, a waiter. He's gonna get this. Probably one of the later two. Five. Say a waiter. Correct for Good, a good game. Good Correct. game. Good shit. Damn. Go you know, the ballet, but they didn't the have tables have turned. So interesting <laughs> scenario here. Mark Ellis either two to tie it up, or if he goes to multiple choices, at least he can get within one of Clark Wolf. Yeah. True, true, true. Last question. Okay, last here question here. Singles. Round yeah. two. Who directed the Daniel Day Lewis masterpiece, The Last oh. of the Mohicans? This came up recently. Shit. Oh no, I know this. <laughs> Michael Mann? That yeah. It yes, cool. yes, it is. Right. <laughs> well played, well played. So damn, tie game! Ever, what? After Woo. the first two rounds, it is a tie game. No God one, damn. Listen, these are the two top competitors in the league. Some and tough questions. Dude, that was real smart to have uh, Makuga ask questions. Now we get questions. to round number three, and it works like this. The competitors are All this collusion going, going on. He's his best friend. He can't ask him questions. Oh, fuck y'all. For real. Y'all think this game is rigged. Y'all need to y'all need to watch something else. For real. Please pick three numbers. See how they're struggling with these fucking questions? Jesus Christ. And 19. All right, Mark Ellis. You think this game is fucking rigged? Whatever. One. Wow. Please don't do that. That's not smart. I didn't even I didn't even notice what her order was. Fuck. One category one mark is war. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. War. It's never good. Here we go. Here we go. Good God. Who played Bradley Cooper's wife in American Sniper? Sienna Miller. Ooh. Um, Sienna Miller. That is correct for two, two points. points. Right. Give it to him. We bounce to Clark Wolf Clark here with category four. It was a tennis a match baby. now. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't real at all. It was so Not fake. Close. Not even close. Yikes. I didn't. Arm. Even. That was embarrassing for filmmakers everywhere. <laughs> category four is comedy, Clark Wolf. Let's go. For two points, who played Ooh. Principal Roz Mullins in 2003's School She does this. Rock? Joan Cusack. That is hey, good, good shit. Wow. Woo. Is good news. Good news. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So now we good get shit. to Mark Ellis, who had category two. Category two. Uh, Mark's favorite category thus far, 90s movies. Woo. For right. three points, cool. Mark, it's who been, directed been, the 1998 family film, Babe, Babe Pig, Pig in, in the City? city. Frank Oz? Babe Pig in the City? Yes. I think it's Frank Oz. Jesus Christ. You're gonna lie, you're gonna, you're gonna be upset with yourself if you don't get this. I it think sounds it's, like the first movie of somebody that went on to do Frank other Oz. things that were not Five. talking pig sequels. Five. No, no, it's George Miller. Three. It's George Miller. Brad Bird? No. George incorrect. Miller. That is correct, Clark that's, Wolf. That's Thank that you, Miller, <laughs> for doing right. my job. I Damn. That. I almost, I almost fell into that. I technically got that wrong. Clark my first guess would have been fucked. pointer, which is category number 12. Category number 12 here for Clark Wolf comes in the category of crime. Crime for Ooh. three points. You'll find Robert De Niro playing the character of Johnny Boy in this 1970s crime drama. Isn't that the um, the one, the first Scorsese? No, he's not in that. Um, mean, uh, mean, mean Streets. That is correct. Oh, okay. Three oh. points. Wolf going up oh, good Clark. shit. Good shit. So Clark, Ooh. that with that, with getting that right, Clark Wolf has given herself two chances to win. To win. Mark yeah. Ellis will get a five pointer. If he misses it, Clark Wolf wins the game. If he hits it, it'll bounce back to Clark yeah, Wolf. Then balls in the court. To win. So here we go, Mark Ellis. You chose Ooh, yo, Ellis. three, which is your five pointer, and the category is. The category is dramas. Dramas. Ooh. Wow. Five so one, two, three is not the way to go Five in this points, game Mark. ever. What name did the operating system voiced by Scarlett oh, wow. Johansson give herself? <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen it. Oh, no. Ava? Eve? I'm just going to fucking defer. Five. It's something four, simple. I know that much. It's like three. just a, the question. 
Good shit. Good. He invokes the JTE rule. The yes, indeed. Line. The it's JTE palpable. Memorial rule. You can hear oohs and ahs in the crowd. What <laughs> name did the operating system, voiced by Scarlett Johansson, wow. give her? This is a hard one. Unless you love her. There's a lot of people who love that movie, and they would know right off the bat, but Five, I've only seen the trailers. I've four, never seen it. Three, Son of a bitch. Two, Mia. And you What? That's what I'm talking about! Fuck yes! Yeah! What is going on? Yo, I'm on a roll! Man. Mark Wolf pulling up an upset here. You know, she's a higher rank. Man, I was going for tough beats last episode, so I'm not on a roll. I'm so hit and fucking miss. So Clark Wolf pulls up one of the biggest wins. Doesn't matter to me who I speculate is gonna win. It matters to me who I'm rooting for. Give her a very high rank here in the Ultimate Showdown. She is now five and three, as is Mark Ellis. They both have similar records, and that is that was a big win for Clark. Who I put my lot in with? Some really tough questions all the way around for both competitors. I will say this: Clark Wolf, before a lot of these matches, really gets down on herself. Yeah, yes, she does. She's like, ah, this match will be short. This match will be short. No, do not count out Clark Wolf. Ever, never, ever, never. I didn't. Gotcha. Clark Wolf came in hot today and really owned it. See, she absolutely did. That's what's and up. Emma Fife is talking to both Clark Good Wolf game. and Mark Ellis right now. Yeah, shout out. We can do it. We sure can. She can do it. I am and she did it. You're going to wait. Oh, no. Winner, oh, no. She represented Lassie Gundam. Clark she should have came up for EX versus the Gundam Nation last night. We threw down with Gundam Wing. Well Turn A Gundam. You, all the all the max. I was a show called Gundam. Because in our match, I said that Gina Davis was married to Matthew Modine during Cutthroat Island. Married to Rennie Harlan. She was married to Rennie Harlan, the director. And that's why I couldn't pull the name out because my trivia was wrong. But I guess I got the right question. The question that mattered. At the end of the, the, end of the day, you, you got it right. Yeah. I mean, it was a it was a tough match all around. You guys it was both kind of were just hanging in there uh, in round two. Some good strategy with the multiple choice. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, I I feel like I, I played the uh, round two safe um, because Jewel of the Nile and Matthew Modine were in there, but I. I just didn't yeah. want to risk getting it wrong. Yeah, you didn't. Uh, you didn't so, give your opponent um, points. You know, playing it safe with the and multiple choice on those two. I probably so that was good. Could have taken the risk, but I'm just not just not a risk taker, Emma. So the way this play, game play, is designed, play, you know what? Playing keeps safe, you on your toes you still, the whole you still time. Came out on top. <laughs> yeah, and Mark Ellis is. Um, I, you know, I, I said it. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. When I called his match against Dan Merle, I, that was when I realized, holy crap. This guy is really good. I know. Like, really The really, 90s really, really fucked good. him so and, bad. Um, he should have spun again. That was a really Damn. close one. Yeah. Sometimes Damn, he plays around in a character costume, but it turns out Mark Ellis actually God does know Damn. a thing or two about movie trivia. Now, Clark, going into the match today. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what? Yo, Riley, good shit. Well, thank you, thank you. I'm hoping to show up. Match. You looked awesome. Thank you. Look at this guy. It was flossing that belt, baby. Just well. Hold it the strap. There it is. I, I, I appreciate it coming from you. The champ, uh, it means a lot. Well, you know, uh, yes, thank you, but uh, I better watch out because if uh, you, you, that that was such a good show. Gotta hold that. Gotta hold the strap until this, but Clark I'd be happy comes to up. Give it up to you with that trivia. The face off with Skills. you. Skills. Before Clark Wolf <laughs> could potentially try to take the belt from you, though, you've got a big match coming up next no, week. Triple threat, baby. I do. It, uh, pro probably the biggest match I've ever played. Uh, going up against Dan Merle. And John Roca, two of the best competitors in this league. Uh, but I'm feeling good. So, but it's not about me. It's about her. Oh, next week, y'all. Next buddy. week. Next week, Friday. Clark, how are you feeling about your tag team is partners' it chances it's the seventh, at keeping right? the belt here in this upcoming match? Great. As as we learned in this in this match, y'all. Yeah, it's next on Friday. Mm -hmm. Yep. I like it's gonna it be a nice, Justice big, fat episode. <laughs> big do. like now, yours, truly. Going into All right. the match today, you were a little plump. If tentative, it seemed like you thought things were not gonna go. Another three-hour banger. Yes, that is. I can't correct. wait. That is what I thought. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of commentary. I, I, Holy okay, shit! I've, I've it's gonna be a lot of work. I can't wait. I, That's a packed look, weekend, uh, man. I get That's Castlevania. Play, but I'm That's Spider-Man. Ellis is. That's Collider Collision. Dear, Fuck dear me, buddies, man. And but he Damn. is so good, and I just sort of knew. Yeah, I Following just wasn't feeling Evo? very oh, no. I, I felt like oh, he was gonna beat me, and um, and so. I went into the match, I Game think, nervous for sure, but July also just is like, on look, point. what's going to happen is going to happen. And, yeah. um, you know, and so, but yeah, I was nervous for sure. Well, your victory today and your many victories in the past, I have Ooh. to say, Clark, look at all the women that are competing in the Schmodown I know. today. Rachel Cushing, yep. I've competed. Erica Ishii, That's Perry right. Nemiroff, Brianne Chandler, Stacey Howard. They're coming. We've got if a you really build it, they will come. And you paved the right? way for that. And they well, came. I don't know about that, but 
uh, and they ain't I going love nowhere. That more people are starting to play the game because the game is super fun. And uh, and look, everybody, if you're a nerd, it's just nice to see how this game has evolved throughout the years. Where you come from? Ever since it started from its humble beginnings, it's meager beginnings. That's the most important thing. Wasn't it like JTE versus Copster? Kicking ass, and we're getting some other people just in general in the game, which I love. We're getting the fans in the game, which is super awesome. I know. The more the merrier. It's come full circle. Clark Wolf keeping it classy as always what's up? and Yo, being God an damn, inspiration to us all. Yo, Pops well, Wolf congratulations is again, beaming Clark right now. Win today, and we will be Clark's right dad back is, is bouncing Carrot off the Ellis. walls. This is good shit. And That's what I'm talking about. With Yo, Mark, Ellis, though. Baby Carrots Ellis, Ellis, in memoir, in memoir couldn't, couldn't of Mark Ellis. Today. Couldn't quite spills the berries, if you know oh, what I mean. Man. Yeah. So, yeah, I Clinton Spillsbury. Clinton. You got Clinton. Uh. You know what? I looked up who Clinton Spillsbury was. Yeah, he has one credit to his name. It's like the... Rise of the Lone Ranger or something, 1981. Definitely never heard of him. Uh, so is this a real dude? He's probably a friend of Makuga's dad. Yo, get sure, the fuck out sure. of here. It was a fair question. It was. It was Clinton a fair question. Spilsbury. Not uh, directed at you, but, uh, you know, it you sounds like a name. Uh, yeah, you know, that's what Clark Schnapp and I do. Regardless of who we're playing against, we're going to be in there until the end. And unfortunately, I just uh, couldn't quite come up with the name Samantha there at the end. I think Clark probably would have hit the five-pointer if it bounced back to her. So she uh, she played a really great Damn. match, and she earned the Victory here today. She definitely, definitely did. In those '90s questions you had, man, they were they uh, were they were fucking they were some deep cuts. They, the toughest part about this match was the actual wheel categories themselves. There was awful a lot as of in hard to answer. So when I got not awful 90s, as in the way the questions were phrased. No, those, like, those okay, are fine. I think this is a safer choice. Did not want to spend Terrence awful and exposing my knowledge of these movies. That's what it was. Like <laughs> so I got the '90s, and you know, like Clark did too. She kind of pinch hit her way around. The but I knew that fucking uh, do as well. That that broke two question. Three, and she just had the goods. I totally understand that strategy. Now, speaking of Clark Wolf, she's really become quite the competitor here in this league, wouldn't you say? Yeah. She's ranked four, I'm ranked five, and as we were talking backstage, it's like, look, this ranks is have not, not going to be a nail in the coffin for either person if they lose. This is me getting back in the ring after a long time off, and I'm mm -hmm. not going to go lie on a beach for another six months. I think I'm back. I think I'm ready yeah, to Yeah, absolutely, Ellis, man. I need to see you and Chris come back I'm as a team. When the lights come on, the brightest yeah. and The playoff format just, it speaks to me as a human being. Ellison, Ellison, Christian compliment each other very strongly. And in teams. One of the best teams so in this that's league. They just don't play as often. On and it's understandable. Yeah, I, I definitely think that I have as good a they shot a as anybody to, do. to win the ultimate schmodown again and challenge Together whoever and individually. is going to be holding the belt at that particular juncture. And look, maybe I see Clark again, and I would be looking forward to that matchup. A little bit of Jaws for the revenge. Absolutely. Oh, oh. I mean, it was a it was already a ready for the sequel. All around, great fight by both competitors. And uh, yeah, I I'd say. You keep doing you, Mark Ellis. Ah, I believe in you. Well, right. thank you, Em. I'm going to go fly to Houston and get drunk tonight. All right, get ripped. Now we've got I a big you. match coming oh, up shit. here. One on Who's July 4th and on July 7th. We've got Patriots versus Top 10. How are we? How are you feeling about that? As a co-creator of this league, I need to know. Oh. you got to root against the Patriots, but I seriously think they Where's have the goods. Where's he get his jackets? I mean, Roka knows no their stuff, but I think the Patriots are going to eke it out. It's just too much symbolism <laughs> on July 4th. Nah. I think they get the nope. W. And then you got the collision three I days I refuse later. to believe you, Ellis. No gifts nah. necessary. Yeah. No. How are you not happening. About, uh, the not happening. Going up against the, the pitchers are done. I think Harlow's going to get Team Schmo's back. Giving up the right. straps. So, I mean, look, Harlow's going to slash the third team. We'll have to cry. And it's not really tough. He's I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. He is cool under the lights. All right. Harlow is on such a hot streak right now. I think the hot hand continues. And what about the big three-way match? Hot hand in the dice game? Oh, there's going to be no dice left. They'll be obliterated. Come down to the wheel round because somebody's going to spend something they really love, and it's going to take away points from the other two competitors. I love the three-way format. Just made a shot call. This is going to come down to the wire, and I don't like Roka. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's either Merle or Wise. <laughs> <laughs> I like Roka as a person. Sure, but, uh, sure. But he, Yo, he makes what? a lot of noise in this league. Oh, he's a snowball in hell. Yeah, I, I, can, uh, I can get behind that. Oh, well, my gosh. He's again, the best snowball. Thank you, Mark Ellis, the for your time. The only snowball that didn't know. get drunk in Houston. Absolutely. Go for Go it. Go get ripped, Back bro. you, Christian and Josh. You've earned that wild turkey. All right, so look at that. You you, you know, you, you have in the back there, you have uh, Clark Wolf, who is talking, and, and the, the champion actually came in to, to congratulate her in the middle of the interview, mm -hmm. and we had uh, Clark Wolf talking about she didn't, she was, she was being humble, as Clark Wolf is, but talking about having that higher position there in the ultimate schmodown going into it now. She's just going to sit back and see now who does she play. She's up top there, really, I mean, she's going to find out who she's playing. The, the collider collision is right around the corner. I mean, I could be playing against Dan Merle. Jeff Snyder could be playing against yeah. Dan Merle. There's so much happening. And then Mark Ellis says, you know, 
tough loss, but he's he's not going anywhere. He looks he's back. He says he's back for good and he wants to play good in the Ultimate Schmoda. And don't again. forget both of these competitors have competed for belts. Clark Wolf fought Mark's Damaril. Been, Mark's, Mark's yep. been team champion. Correct. Mark's been team champion, but also both for singles common. belts. Both of these competitors have. They are both to be feared in this league. Oh, absolutely. Right. And I think, and look, these two could match up again in the Ultimate Show now, which would be I amazing know. to see. Um, Clark Wolf has proven once again why she is one of the elite players in this league. And 100%. like you said, she always beats herself up beforehand. She does. But she, also, yeah. she always shows why she has the spots that she has. All it's right, always guys, darkest so before the dawn. You? What do you think of the match? Who do you want to see Mark Ellis play next? Go, like it comes. Clark Wolf playing next. Don't Go forget. Go ahead and comment. Do it. Comment here. Comment. Look, like. Try to. We're trying to break the record here. We want to get yeah, thirteen thousand likes. We want to get Good three thousand comments. Go ahead and you guys be the ones to do that. Check out right around the corner here. We've got July fourth. The Patriots defending the titles Ooh. against the top ten. <laughs> July seventh. The Collider Yo, these fucking, Four big these matches. Thumbnails. The Inner Kingdom Championship. Number one team contenders. Collider collision. Contenders and the That's a good name. threat match. That's a good name. Dan. Merle going for the belt, John Roca going for the belt, and Mark it's, it's Ryan Photoshop the classics right here. Trying to keep it. It all goes down on July 7th. The Brian Ward classic. Collider video. A couple other things to check out. The movie trivia Schmodown Who's doing the, uh, page. The Schmodown the, um, rundown. The Inside fantasy Schmodown football. Ken Napsock every Thursday. The fantasy league the fucking uh, updates. Collider. And then it's going to be gonna Cody? The desk here and go run on over Die? to the Oh, oh yo, Makuka's doing double duty, baby. With that character. Ooh, turn on the go trip. Go on over there and that little skunk rat Cody. Oh, uh, Cody. Yo, Cold Dizzle? He's the best, though. He's the What's best. What's up, movie trivia Schmodown fans? Josh Makuka <laughs> here with my boy Cody Hawk. What up? Uh, Cody! Oh, baby carrots. I'm a baby carrot. <laughs> Do your impression of a wolf. Uh oh. <laughs> it's like a. Well, get, uh, I'm, not, I'm not proud of myself today. I'm sorry. I'm that was Yo, terrible. I exposed again. All you fantasy people oh. out there. Cody, stay where you are and do not come back into frame until I tell you. Here's your fantasy update Clark Wolf is a champion. She is classy. She has fought for the belt once before in the up. singles. She will fight for it again. Mark, get the my points. Words. Hold on to her. You know what you could do? You, If you're looking for a trade, she's at least a two person trade. Maybe throw up. Go okay. ahead. A William Bibiani mixed with a Matt Nost. Maybe I don't even know what this means. Two players for yo, yo, a just tossing Matt Nost under the, in, into the bin? She's always in the yeah. league. She's always fighting. She's always looking classy. And she's always getting those answers that you oh, just man. don't think anybody else should know. But she does. Even if she thought Gia Davis was married to Matthew Modine when she wasn't. Because Matthew Modine is married to wrestling in the movie Vision Quest. That's Shoot, right. I'm coming for you. On the other hand. Mark Ellis, he split his points oh, in half. Shit. It wasn't a great showing for him. He's my friend. And he'll be back in season two of Stranger Things, apparently. It doesn't mean that I That's don't what the like word of the street says. I actually really like him. I don't know how that works. He always fights, and he usually wins. Today was the exception. If you don't have baby carrots, don't face him. Don't fight him. Again, look for a possible trade. Baby carrots is worth an upper tier team. He's also worth an upper tier individual, somewhere All in right. the middle. He's a two person trade. You might have to sacrifice a lot. Look for some new people competing. Look for some old people who have competed. They haven't competed in a while. Baby Carrots is worth your time. This was a great fantasy matchup. Another matchup we may see in the Ultimate oh, Schmodown. If you have other one of these you are doing okay. Clark with the blood heels. Baby Carrots with the orange suit. That was a match. I'm Josh McCuga. Cody, come back in here, Roy. Right. Cody, right, come back, back baby. There he is. Right. He's you back. Baby He's back. I, I'm definitely a baby carrot. It was a little it's bit better the first time. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time right here on the Schmodown. Woo, toss that mic. Uh, yo, the poor guy that had to catch those mics. <laughs> what did I say? Just oh, here we trust go. me. This is going to blow these people's minds. It's going to be the oh, biggest here thing we go. that ever happened on this stupid, yo, Ricky, stupid man. show. You got lurkers. No, I'm telling you. Just stupid. A little bit longer. These oh, morons shit. have no idea what's about to hit them. Yo, what's Ricky got no. planned? Trust me. Trust him, huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not. Wait. You going to come out? No? No? Too bad. Bye. Oh, what? Yo, who's Ricky talking hey guys, to? If you like this Is video, it Ashley? Click the thumbs up button. Was the answer also, in front of us the entire time? To our oh, shit. Channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've Props got to Ashley as always. Lighter. All right, good shit. And that was the end of that, yo. Shout out to Clark Wolf for murdering that win. I mean, well, it was close. It wasn't a blowout or anything like that. It came down to the last, uh, Ellis's last question, which unfortunately he got wrong. But um, well, all I can say is Clark Wolf took it, man. I'm so glad she did, man. Good shit. Uh, another solid episode here on the Schmodown. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, this 4th of July, I won't be, uh, I'll probably do a reaction short after that, shortly after that. But um, 
4th of July, they're going to be airing the uh, the team championship match between the Patriots. So you can see there, versus team top 10, man, it's going to be a fucking blowout, son. It's going to be a barn burner. And someone's going to get burned, and his name is Jatizzle. Their names start with J. But one, one, one of them does, anyway. <laughs> well, the both of them do. Jeff and Jate. Oh, shit. Yo, I hope y'all brought your hazmat suits. You're going to need them after the blowout of that nuclear bomb that is team top 10. I can't wait. I cannot wait. And of course, this Friday, the Collider Collision, I'm assuming it's probably going to be at least two hours or more. So usually the events run uh, two and a half hours to three. So And they put them up in two parts. I don't know if they're going to do that with this one or they can just put them in one chunk or multiple parts. So it's going to be interesting. I'm excited. I, I am also um, looking forward to sitting down and doing the commentary on those. So it's, it's going to be nice. Uh, in the meantime, uh, guys, uh, thank you again for checking out the Schmodown run back here on youtube.com slash Shinjuku Station. Also, make sure to go to the original video and thumbs it up and leave a comment, as always. Um, subscribe to youtube.com slash Collider Videos and youtube.com slash Schmozno. It's super important you guys do that and support those shows, respectively. And you guys know all the links. I, I read them off last episode, so check those out when you have time. Anyway. That is it from me. My name is Soul Bro Ryu with Shinjuku Station Podcasting. Uh, for those who don't know, I um I help to co-host a show called Gundam at MHQ. It's a, a pod it's a podcast uh, mainly about uh, the Mobile Suit Gundam franchise, but we talk about super robots and real robot anime series in general and other things that um, feature robots and and science fiction and stuff like that too. We have tangents sometimes, but we've been going on for ten years. This is the tenth year that we've been doing the show. So if you guys have never checked it out before, go to uh, Gundam.net. That's G-U-N-D-A-M-N.net. Um, you can also find the show on iTunes and your favorite podcast app is, is probably there. So uh, check that out. We got a new episode coming up uh, this week where we review uh, season two of Voltron Legendary Defender. So I hope you guys check that out and enjoy that too. Um, in the meantime, thank you very much. Uh, if you guys uh, haven't done it already, subscribe to this channel. Also, uh, catch me over on riff.tv slash shinstation. I do commentary uh, on uh, Netflix. If you have an American Netflix account and you want to join us for the commentary, it's a really neat website. Riff, that's R-I-F-F dot TV. A uh, neat website where you can go to and uh, it integrates your Netflix into it. So that way you can stay in sync as I do commentary. and You can watch the archives there too. You can watch them live. Our archive, so um, keep I keep it posted. Uh, I keep people posted through my Twitter account, which is at SoberIU on Twitter. But anyway, thank you very much, guys. As always, uh, that's it for the Schmodown Run Back. I will see you guys later. Take it easy. Peace. <laughs>